Hello guys, welcome back. Today we'll do a problem from Snackdown, which is a competition of Code Chef. The first problem of the elimination round, kitchen timetable. So it's a very very simple problem. I'm sure most of you guys have cracked it, but for the beginners, let's do this video. The link of the problem is in the description. Do have a look at the problem and then only watch this video. So this problem is mostly related to assigning timetables to the cooks. So let's start with it. So the first array which you can see, which is this array, uh, it's the uh, first input that we take from the user. So in this array, the first array, it's the time where the student ends his work. So the timeline begins from zero, as we all know. So this one indicates that student one finishes its work at one, student two finishes its work at 10 and three finishes his work at 15. So and this array which is the final uh, the last array it indicates the amount of time required by the student to complete his work his or her work and this the middle array is a suspense for you guys which you will come to know in a minute. So as we all know the first array indicates where the student will uh, end so uh, in this middle array we will write the amount of time which the student has. So starting from 0 the student one ends his time at 1. So he has one unit of time. Now the student 2 has time from 1 to 10. So if you calculate he has 9 units of time because 10 minus 1 is 9 and uh, student 3 uh, his time begins at 10 and ends at 15. So he has 5 units of time. We just need to find out this time and uh, as we can see that uh, student 1 has one unit of time and his work is only of one unit of time. So it will get completed and this won't get completed because the uh, work requires 10 units of time and he has only 9 units of time so obviously the work won't get completed so the answer is no for this case the second student and here the work is of for student 3 the work is of 3 units of time and uh, he has 5 units of time so uh, he will complete his work quite easily and just walk by so in this case two students complete their work in the assigned time so the answer for this case should be 2. So this 2 indicates that two students complete the work within the assigned time. So this is what we need to do in this sum. It's quite easy. We just need to form this array, the middle one, the suspense array. And after doing that uh, we just need to compare each and every element of the array number 3 of uh, to array number 2 if it's greater than we need to do count plus plus and at the end we just need to print the count. Let's take another example. The same example which was given in the sum itself. Uh, just we will fill the middle array. So first student has 10 units of time. Second student has 10 units of time. We just need to subtract like 20 minus 10. Then 30 minus 20 is again 10. So as we got this middle array, we just need to compare it with the final array. As 10 is not greater than 15. so count will remain 0 as 10 is greater than 5 so count becomes 1 and again 10 is not greater than 20 so count will again remain 1 so for this case the answer is 1 so this is how it works for this case the answer remains 1 and this is what the answer which is expected from us so the basic logic of this sum is we just need to find this middle array by subtracting the elements from the first array and just need to compare it with the third array and once we are done with it we just need to print the count and uh, thanks guys for watching the video keep coding and this was just the basic and the beginner sums the more difficult sums are coming we are making videos about it and if you have doubt in any of the sums feel free to put the sum link of the sum in the comment section we will make video for you thanks guys for watching the video do subscribe